we're going to talk a little boxing this morning. Happy Sunday morning to everyone. I'm headed to my interview today. Been working on my book. I get interviewed every Sunday for about an hour and a half. It's truly the greatest story never told. But well, somebody got to tell it. <laughs> anyway, man, I want to put the spotlight on the big heavyweights last night, man. Um, really good action. We had a major upset in the main event. Wow. Uh, Babyface lost in Brooklyn. He was on his way. That was the title eliminator for the WBA, I believe. or Yeah, the WBA championship. So uh, Kalinske... Kalowski, I believe his name is pronounced. Uh, he's the number one mandatory now. And uh, Babyface got to go back to the drawing board, man. And uh, we saw another, uh, the, the guy from uh, Africa, Abaje, Abanje, I believe his name is. But the one thing sticks out with me, man, and it's the same pattern that you see with guys like Wilder, Deontay Wilder right now. These heavyweights aren't developing, man. They're not getting better. You don't see the transition from amateur to pro. You see these guys fighting at the top level of the game, still fighting like amateurs. They're not getting the fundamentals. They're not advancing skill-wise, and you see that. And I'm not I'm not trying to throw nobody under the bus, man, but it's just a shame that these – Top fighters today don't understand and don't see where they can get better at, where they can improve at. There's nobody, I just don't think nobody's out there teaching. I'm talking about at the highest of levels. And it's just ridiculous, man. And these guys can be, they can be taught so much better. And it just seemed like the game was sleeping on the real trainers and the real teachers of the sport of boxing. These guys aren't getting the information. That's it. They're not receiving the information. Because a lot of times these guys that are, are, are there to guide, to develop these guys, they don't know the sweet science. They don't know the fundamentals. They, they haven't been taught. They haven't been schooled on it. And, and, and that's why American heavyweight and American boxing at a, at, as a whole is declining when you look at all the great fighters that came before us. Come on, man. These guys aren't getting the lessons. They're not getting the fundamentals, the basics. They're just looking, everybody in there fighting. Nobody's boxing. Nobody's thinking. Nobody's plotting. Nobody's setting traps. It's like the, the real scientific form of boxing is a thing of the past, and they won't get nobody in their corner that can show them differently. And it's just a shame. And they keep putting these guys out there and one by one they fall in by the wayside because they don't have the skills or the ability to maintain or get better, improve. You're supposed to see improvement with these guys. Not these guys coming out and they doing the same thing over and over again, no improvement. Every camp is just like the same. And it's just like, that's why you got these guys in the UK and all over the world dominating the sport of boxing right now. Completely dominating. Because they don't they don't want to get the lessons. They don't want to learn. And they don't want to accept the fact that, damn, they don't know it all. One thing about all the great ones, they always was coachable and teachable. If you feel like your trainer can't teach you nothing, then what are, what are you doing? The blind leading the blind. And that's what is going on in the world of boxing on American soil. The blind leading the blind. And they won't humble themselves enough to get somebody in there that know what the hell they're doing. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't like, it ain't something somebody told me. This shit I know. Shit I know from experience. You know. So I just look at these guys, man, I just shake my head. You're going to continue to see these guys get up to that level and fall by the wayside. Because there's nothing to maintain them. They're not learning. They're not learning. They're not improving. And that's what's wrong with the state of boxing. No trainers and there's no teachers out there, man. Everybody fighting. Everybody fighting. Nobody's boxing. And, and that's what's wrong. These guys aren't advancing. You look 
for as, in, as far as I'm concerned. A Jamba or whatever his name is, he got a lot of power. He does. But now let's teach him the skill set. Teach him the skill set so he ain't standing straight up. He ain't pushing his punches, you know, pushing his punches in the middle of the ring, standing tall. You know, he can win like that right now, but it's levels to this. It's levels to this. And these guys aren't learning to trade, man. It's a shame. These guys aren't learning to trade. It'll take one week, one week to demonstrate and show the difference. It, it ain't going to, you know, when you're being taught right, it don't take a lot. But if you if you never receive the information, how you can correct it? How can you fix the problem or fix the issue? You can't. So it's going to be my goal, man, to really discover and develop the next big heavyweight champion here in America. I'm going to search for him because I know I know what he's missing. I know what he needs. I've been there. To the highest of heights. I've been there every level of the game. I've been there. You know, I, I'm just saying that the boxing game is missing a, a big asset. I mean, even from a commentating standpoint, I predicted the fight last night. I wish I would have went live two, three rounds before because I called it. I called it. You know, you know, it's, it's, it's funny how, you know, when you really have that eye. You can see the shit happening before it even happens. Really, you can. And, and you know, so it's just, its a, I don't know if it's a talent, a knack, a skill. I, I don't know, man, but I, I can predict what's happening in that in the fight. You know, I stand out on that, man. I, I have a feeling, and sometimes it's, it's more than not, it's always on point. Because I can feel, I can feel what's going on in the ring, even though, even from the inside. I mean, from the outside, and that's a talent, man. And I, like I said, it's only going to take one of these guys to really understand and get it. And they're going to add life, they're going to add years, and they're going to add longevity to their career. And that's the investment. It don't seem like none of these guys are willing to make in themselves. They're not willing to invest in themselves. Shit, if I had the opportunity, I'm going to have the best man around. And, and, and I don't, and, and that's going to, selfishly, you got to love yourself selfishly in this game. Because when it's over, trust me, it's over. It's over. And you may not know when it's over. So, you know, you got to do what's right for you at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you got to do what's right for you, man. When you're putting your life on the line, you feel me? You're fighting for your your, your legacy and your history. You got to have the best man in your corner, somebody that's going to inspire you, motivate you, shit, and give you the skill set that, you know, that you're going to need to win. Point blank period, man. Um, so that's my take on last night. PBC is doing a great job with... I believe matchmaking because you can see, I mean, they're putting the guys in there, man. You, you know, you're going to have to know how to fight. You're going to have to know how to win, you know, over there at PBC because you can see it's about, it's about a uh, contender based championship based fights over there, man. Uh, but, you know, opportunities, what, what you want, but you want to position yourself to take advantage of opportunity. So that's all I'm saying coming from a guy, you know, that, that's that's done it, man, at the highest level. Come on, man. I, I saw the Da Vinci Code, baby. <laughs> I saw the Da Vinci Code in boxing. You feel me? And I got out unscathed, man. You know, so that's what I'm trying to get these youngsters. I'm trying to get these youngsters to gain, man, from a true perspective. You know? Uh, but you can take them to the well, but you can't make them drink. That's a proven fact. You know, you can't make them drink. <laughs> That's wild.